Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner and Sugar Magnolia back at you for your iSpire dab, diamond dab of the day. Today's Monday, the start of the work week. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Join the family, send a like, and a comment. Let's get started with today's topic. Unfortunately, I'm living it. And I'm going to try to help everybody help ourselves. How do we overcome fear of our chronic pain? Fear of chronic pain is probably a natural reaction. But the emotion really contributes to the pain cycle. we got to figure out how do we break the pain-fear cycle. You know, acute pain is a warning for the body and mind. Letting you know something's wrong. So when you experience pain, it's definitely natural to worry about it and protect the area that hurts. During acute pain, when your body's injured, pain serves as a protective purpose, helping the body to heal. But when pain becomes chronic, like I endure, it means that the warning system is unfortunately broken. We continue to experience pain without any injury or danger being present. So. Well, it's natural that our reaction to chronic pain would be to focus on it, to worry about it, and to want to rest, to promote healing. This fear and avoidance behavior can keep you locked in a fear and pain cycle, sustaining the pain experience probably indefinitely. So, many people start to fear things that might make their pain worse, or they think will perhaps avoiding a situation that caused the eventual, the, uh, the original injury or something similar to what that caused it because a certain situation or action made their chronic pain symptoms flare in the past or sometimes even worrying about situations that aren't based on any previous experience, just anticipating the pain before it happens. Teeth, ears, jaw, neck, back, abdominal, lower abdominal, man things, toes, feet, knees. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous how many places it goes. So the concept of avoiding situations that people feel will cause or worsen chronic pain is not new. It's called fear avoidance. People develop and frankly, they compound negative beliefs about their chronic pain and start to have fear movement. They fear that exercising, any given normal day-to-day -day function requires them to move their body is gonna worsen the pain, damage the body. It's me. The fear leads me to avoid those situations. Thus, I'm acting in a way, I am acting in a way that I feel like I'm protecting myself, but I'm not. Because the fear and avoidance causes me to become hypervigilant. Meaning that everything I do, I'm aware of. If I stand up to go get a glass of water, Mrs. Stoner goes, what are you doing? She knows it's going to hurt me. So we're catastrophe. I'm catastrophizing. I probably trained her to about the pain. Meaning that I'm worrying about it in an extreme way. Basically, pain-related fear of any movements. You know... Fear activates flight or fight, keeps us stuck in that chronic pain and stress cycle. One feeds off the other. And there have been lots of studies about people who anticipate pain during activities. Well, you know what? Unfortunately, they're going to experience more pain and be able to function less. So fear of movement worsens the patient's symptoms, the people's symptoms. You avoid socializing or going out any daily functioning, and it increases isolation, think about it, depression, and makes your disability, whatever it is, gosh darn it, it makes it worse. So the not moving of our bodies is going to cause weakening, causing more stress on the body and more pain. It's called disuse syndrome. So you know what? We got to move out of that now. Now, we're not running track, but we got to move out of that. So you got to understand, you got to measure how bad your fear is, okay? Once you've measured your fear, 
got to put some therapy to it. You can put therapy that you do or therapy that you go have. But fear is a natural and understandable reaction to pain. Don't anybody come away, come away from this thinking that's not the case. But, but it's usually a conscious or chosen reaction. It's not our fault we're in pain. So chronic pain people hear this and then somehow it validates it. That's not what it's meant to do. What we've got to do is start to learn the science behind what's compounding our pain and become consciously aware of how we process it and how it affects our life so it doesn't overcome us. You see, we need to take a cognitive approach and begin acceptance and commitment therapy. You see, the plan is so much more difficult when what you're trying to do is cease, stop, and end. No, we're just trying to curve what's happening in our direction we want it to go. We're not stopping being aware of our pain. My God, being aware of your pain keeps you alive in situations. So what will happen, okay, is that what we're gonna be able to do now is incrementally increase the amount of stuff we do. We're gonna be mindful about it. We're gonna be grounded. If you do yoga, you're gonna do yoga. I don't do yoga, but we're gonna to try to find a way to relax. Once we find a way to relax, we're gonna learn more. Education is key. We're gonna learn more about what we can do and set some small goals for ourselves and practice self-care. This is incredibly important to minimize and reduce the amount of fear we have of our chronic pain. You see, standing up from this chair hurts, but should I be in fear of standing up from a chair? Sitting too long hurts, should I be in fear of watching TV? I think what's happening here is that people who have what I'm dealing with right now are kind of being led by the tail. The tail's hanging, pulling the dog, if that makes any sense. That has to be moved and reversed a little bit. So you're back controlling the situation. I'm not in control of the situation right now. I haven't been. My pain has been. But I have decided I'm going to make a stand. I'm going to be in control. Does it mean I'm going to eliminate the pain? Doesn't mean it's never going to be there. Doesn't mean I'm going to be able to even make it less. What it means is I'm going to see it differently. What it means is when it's presenting itself to me, instead of me going under the covers and laying down, unless I really have to, I'm going to try to have a bite out of life. So the bottom line here for everybody is don't be too hard on yourselves. Okay? Fear reaction is inherent within us, completely natural, and doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Instead, what we need to do is find ways to focus on what can change us. And what, once we can find what can change us, what, once we can find what can change us, we are then able to eliminate the fear of chronic pain. And by breaking the cycle, by breaking the cycle, you've taken control back and you'll live a higher functioning life with more joy and less fear of your chronic pain. Not gonna go away, but maybe we can see it a little bit differently. Here we go, everybody, for our 400 degree diamond dab of the day with our eye spire dab. I'm going to drop it in right now. Here we go. Must be a little residual in there. We're going to take a fresh piece. Nice diamond going right in. Cover going on. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great day. You know what to do if you enjoyed today's video about finding ways to see our pain differently. Not going away, but don't let your chronic pain run you. Let's run it. Cheers.
Have a great one, everybody.